your enemies are going to hate seeing you win and especially they're gonna hate seeing you win without them you know these toxic individuals your family friends whoever it is acquaintances even people you meet for the first time they're not gonna like seeing you win you know like why is that especially when they know you when they've known you for many years they're gonna start hating on you out of nowhere you know, they're gonna start getting very envious of you, you know, jealous. They don't care. They know what they're doing. But sometimes they don't realize it until, you know, light is shed on their actions, right? Until maybe you say something, but of course they're gonna deny it, right? They don't care. Even if they are aware that they are doing it, that they're envious of you and they know it, you know, they talk bad about you for no reason because they're hating on you on your life, on you elevating, leveling up, because that's what you guys are doing. You guys are leveling the F up. So own it, continue to do so, stay in your own lane. Don't worry about them. It is not worth wasting your time and your breath on these people. It really isn't. Just keep going, keep doing you boo boo. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> Just let them, let them be mad, let them hate on you, you know? Haters are gonna hate regardless. Can't really do anything about it. You just gotta keep moving on. Keep moving forward. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel, everybody. It's your girl, Starlight. And on this channel, I make videos talking about narcissistic, you know, behavior, traits, just narcissism in general. You know, toxic people, gross, yucky people that we don't like, right? To try and stay away from them, to educate you guys on them. I talk about spirituality, a lot of spiritual videos I make. You know, I talk about healing videos, how to, you know, heal through toxic relationships, toxic, you know, friendships, family. So yeah, if you guys are interested in any of that, please stay tuned, subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. And yeah, let's get right into it. Keep focusing on what you guys are doing. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about the noise. Don't worry about what they're saying about you. you know, whatever rumor they're spreading, it does not matter. It doesn't matter who you are you know, what you do for a living, how much money you make. Don't worry about them. Don't waste your breath, don't waste your thoughts on them, right? Keep focusing, keep thinking about what you wanna achieve in life, what you wanna manifest for your life, right? You know, cause all they're trying to do is bring us down with their negative vibes, their negative energy, you know, because they are so negative. Like, these people have so much negativity, you should not be around them, you know? And they're just going to try and bring you down, you know? That's all they want to do. They're going to try and manipulate hanging out with you, you know, pretending like they need the help from you even just to get close to you so they can, you know, word vomit <laughs> on you and talk about their problems and things that they're going through and, you know, relationships, whatever, people that they're you know, dealing with, you know, if they're not even with them. I don't know, just really dumb stuff. Stuff that's, like, irrelevant. Like, you guys aren't even talking about how to help the world and goals and you guys are just talking about people and, you know what I mean? Like, it's okay to talk about, you know, people in a positive sense, but if it's just, like, negative, you know, it's not fun. It's really irritating because I've had some people... I've had a lot of people do this throughout my life, you know, just word vomit everything that's going on in their life, you know, and it's always like relationship stuff, you know what I mean? So that's why I want to make more relationship videos <laughs> in the process of making these types of videos, right? I feel like it would be a big help for you guys. So, but yeah, don't worry about them. Keep, you know, staying in your own lane, you know, they just want to bring you down. They don't care you know how it's going to make you feel they don't care how your life is going to go, is going to go down the drains how theirs is you know misery loves company but the thing is that they want to see you like they want to see your life go down the drain they want to see you fail you know if they're failing or if they're you know trying to get to the top but they see you you know speeding ahead you know getting past them like almost like at the finish line they're going to try and put a rock in front of you and you're not going to see it if you're not paying attention. Or you're going to fall and trip. You know what I mean? So they actually will try and stop your success. 
stop you from being successful, you know, in some cases. If they really hate on you that much and they're very envious of you, they will do whatever they can, whatever it takes to bring you the F down. No, we're not going to do that. We don't mess with that. <laughs> but the thing is, though, God will remove you from that situation, from that person, whatever it is, even if it's a job, right? It doesn't always have to be a person. It could be a job that's just bringing you down from the negativity in that job. You know, God will, will remove you from them. You know, God will remove them from you. You know what I mean? Either way, it works. You know, you're removed from them, they're removed from you. It's done, you know, and you need to stay away. Especially if you guys feel like, you know, you need to get away from this person, get away, run away, run for the hills. <laughs> because they're not good. They're very ill in the mind, you know, mentally. Because if they're not good up here and you're around that and like, let's say you are, they're going to like screw you up mentally. You know, the more you're around them, you know, the more you're around people, doesn't matter who it is, you become that. You become what those people are. You know what I mean? Like your personality starts switching up, changing, you get more influenced by them. You know, whatever you look at, whatever you listen to, whatever you see, you get influenced by. So it's good to watch good, positive, you know, videos, motivational speaker type videos, um, affirmations, you know, reading those, speaking those out loud, you know what I mean? Subliminals that are really good um, that I personally listen to that help me a lot in my life and my manifestations, you know, those help a lot, right? But if you're around people who don't do stuff like that, yeah, it's going to hurt you. It's going to bite you in the butt. You know, and that's something I've struggled with, and I'm sure you guys have struggled with too. You know, you guys just need to learn to move away <laughs> from these people, know what's best for you, and that is what's best for you, is just moving yourself out of that toxic situation. You know, God will only do so much, but you gotta do like, you know, the other 50%, and you gotta move as well. <laughs> you know what I mean? The thing is though, when you guys are doing your own thing, it's going to really frustrate a lot of people. It's going to trigger people for some re reason. It, it still baffles me why people get so triggered when we're doing our thing, when we're really working hard toward our goals, you know, our business, whatever we're trying to do. You know, whatever we're trying to manifest for our life, you know, living a good, abundant life, you know, because that is our birthright. We deserve that. You know, you got to believe it. You know, I believe it for myself. It's going to irritate them. It's going to frustrate the crap out of them. You know, they're going to hate on you. Like, hardcore. You know, you're going to get a lot of gang stalkers. People are going to be talking about you nonstop. You know what I mean? You know, putting shame on your name. You know, ridiculing you on stupid things. You know, trying to trigger you to hate on them. It's like so backwards. It's so twisted with these people. You know, they're going to gaslight you, manipulate you, you know, especially if you keep them in your life, you know, or if you're not seeing the hate, eventually it will show. Subtly it shows. You know, you just got to be like aware, you got to pay attention to how they treat you when you're with them. You know, like let's say you're with them like nonstop, like all week. Eventually you're going to start irritating them. Like something's going to be shown. You're going to feel some irritation. And the thing is, though, it's not you feeling irritated. It's them. And you're just feeling that vibration coming off of them. And you're like, yo, why do I feel like this? This is, I'm very empathic. I'm sure you guys are as well. So I can sense when people are irritated, mad, angry, whatever. You know what I mean? Especially like more so at nighttime. Like if I'm laying in bed with them or s trying to sleep next to them or have a sleepover, whatever, right? I can feel like if they're like super like, you know, relaxed or they're sleeping like a baby. I have such a hard time falling asleep. If they have a lot of negative energy attached to them and within, you know, forget about it. I cannot sleep. I like toss and turn. I, I start feeling like, it's like the weirdest feeling. Like I feel like just irritated, like my body, I start scratching everywhere. I start like, like my body starts like convulsing like from the inside out. It's really weird. Like it just gets really irritated from the inside and then it's just like on the outside I get itchy and it's the weirdest thing so just pay attention to stuff like that guys that's why I don't sleep over at people's houses at all 
you know, and if I do and if I experience that, I'm out. Like, I'm never, never again. No, mm -mm. I've just had, I've had a lot of, kind of, a lot of bad experiences with sleepovers. Like, people would, like, throw stuff at me when I was, like, you know, younger. Um, people would, I would hear them talk about me. Yeah, a lot of evil stuff. People, girls are mean. <laughs> Women, no offense or anything. I mean, of course, when we get older, we get better, right? You know, as long as we own, own up to it. Accountability, right? That's important. But... Some some little girls, some girls, you know, growing up with, they're nasty. They're they're evil. They're not nice. So when I've dealt with them, I've been bullied, you know, and you know, throughout my life, when I was younger, mostly, yeah, not not fun to go through. But I think a lot of us have, and you know, but we grow from it. You know, as long as we don't become that bully, we good. And we spread love, kindness, you know, and help educating people on. You know toxicity and just becoming a better person never settling that good stuff right but yeah don't worry about them guys you know let them be mad if they're gonna be mad that's on them if they want to be mad at you for doing your own thing for winning for reaching the top without them let them right and if they're gonna try and come in with all this negativity you know with all this hate you know from other haters you know ganging up on you guys gang stalkers right you know they're gonna try and do that as much as they can, as much as you will allow it. But once you put up those boundaries, which I highly recommend you do so, they can't really do anything about it. You know, especially if you're not around them, if you're not talking to them, if you block them, delete them, whatever. What can they do? You know, if they know where you live, I mean, unfortunately, yeah, they could just pass by your house, but they're not gonna like knock on your door and, you know, harass you throughout the day or night, whatever. You just call the cops, but who's going to do that? You know, <laughs> who wants to waste your time? I mean, some people might. Um, just be careful, guys. You know, protect yourself always. You know, pray to God about things. Um, use discernment when you are around these people or if you suspect someone is hating on you, right? Just be careful. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And please... Take care of yourself, love yourself, and don't forget to let your light shine, and catch you later, guys. Bye!